Uh, yeah, yeah, read mine, go. Okay, um, how is this? Can we just... We got a load of them on our file. Alright, so this should be fine. Alright, so let's, uh, see how this goes. Um, there's gonna be... I think it starts with, like, a billion cutscenes, so... Um, yeah, have fun with that. Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 3, and how are you? Mind. Good job, Gizmo. It's just joining in the fun. Oh god. Hopefully I'll stop. Him and I almost fit. May your heart be your guiding key. Yes, I remember that one scene this. that just abruptly caught. <laughs> yeah. Away a letter, then orders a white goat to search for it. What could his intentions possibly be? Great, a riddle, just what I need. <laughs> there are many possibilities. Perhaps he forgot where it's hidden. Or he's playing a prank. Or the letter has truly gone missing. I can think of several reasons offhand. Guessing is simply useless. Well, then just follow your orders, plain and simple. Yes, that's what I've always done. I follow the orders from above, without question. However, I sometimes can't help but read into my opponent's strategy. <laughs> Too long on the job? If the contents of the box are so unknown, why is it of such critical importance to the organization? Furthermore, was it Xehanort or Xemnas who gave the order? Well, it's tricky. All Xehanort cares about is the clash between the Seven Lights and Thirteen Darknesses. It's unlikely he would hold such an interest in this mysterious box. Which means the order was issued by Xemnas, or the one who informed me of my task, you. As if. It must have been Xemnas. My inquiries suggested otherwise. Oh man, you asked him. What are your intentions? Look, I don't know what's inside the box, but it's been protected by Keyblade wielders since way back when. Aren't you curious? Yeah, we know that's all right at this point. Information that's he knows. All Keyblade wielders. Secrets. Of course he knows. <laughs> and where did you hear this? He's playing stupid. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I don't remember. I keep my eyes and ears wide open, but I've traveled so many different places. It's hard to keep everything straight, you know? <laughs> you can tell he's calling his shit. <laughs> yeah. If this box is truly as important as you say, why now? I believe you discovered that others also seek it. And you need to find it before anyone else does. In order to keep your connection to the box a secret from those around you. <laughs> Zigbar, who are you really? Here. <laughs> no matter. It doesn't make a difference to me. It's all the same. I'm content to feign ignorance. The question is, who are you, Luxord? Foreshadowing. Oh, I know we're back at the ending. <laughs> Quite the time jump. Type, quite the animation jump. Yeah. We're suddenly back in CG land. <laughs> it's finally over. Hmm. Hey, you. And now our budget is back. No. 
for a little bit, <laughs> for a little bit anyway. We'll find Kyrie. Let's head back to Master. That's Kingdom Hearts Four. We can figure <laughs> out. No. Well, we found our next made-up plot. Do. <laughs> Sora. My whole journey began the day I lost her, and every time I find her, she slips away again. I thought we'd finally be together, but she's out there, alone, not for one more second. One second. <laughs> Thank you, Donald, Goofy. I'm gonna be that kind of asshole. <laughs> this time, I have to go it alone. Sora, listen. The power of waking isn't to go chase hearts around. Even if you do locate Kyrie. You might never come home to us again. I will. And we'll both be back before you know it. Please. Let him go, Mickey. Riku. His heart and his mind are made up. I thought the others are just kind of standing there watching this. Well, what input today? I really have it. This. Yeah, they're, they're, they're just sure, like, Sora. sure. <laughs> it's not Thank it you. nearly as bad. Not nearly as bad as in like Persona Q, where apparently everybody needs to say something at all times. Yeah. Give me word for it. Now we're gonna get to see what Sora did. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're flying. <laughs> Remind. I'll write this as well. Excuse me. Oh yeah, I remember this being the trailers. Yeah. So? <laughs> oh god. Yeah. It wards off darkness. It's useful. Told ya. And so, how'd it go? The tour. Yeah, that's the Master of Masters. Yeah. I learned the reason for my existence. Oh, I'm the more. Yeah. It's all around the world. People live seemingly peaceful lives. They believe themselves to be moral and virtuous, but it's all an act. Darkness lurks in the pit of everyone's heart. Their light is a Correct. total farce. <laughs> Sounds like your trip around the world opened your eyes, but you got a little bit more than you anticipated. You must have seen a lot of darkness. Hmm. Those I don't remember who voices the master of masters. And who I don't know. Greater power. Well, I have a phone. <laughs> and convince themselves they've earned it. That's how people become tainted by darkness. They believe what they want to believe, using hollow reasons as justification. They repeat this cycle, and their darkness grows. So you're saying the Ray Chase feel the need Ray to Chase, justify that their right. actions to maintain a sense of self. Can't let that slide. Oh god, I can hear Roy. <laughs> no. It's better they be ruled by darkness. People carry delusions of having power, but it's a lie. They are but sheep. I'm also hearing like every other wolves. voice in uh Fire the Heroes. <laughs> I, admit, I can understand why. Oh, I've never heard that one before. A keyblade wielder willing to side with the darkness? <laughs> Why not just let them be until I love the this darkness guy. <laughs> them? Because left alone, 
the world would fall Matthew to Matthew chaos. Matthew Mathis is such an interesting person. <laughs> yeah. To be order. You sure about that? Why not just sit back and watch it play out? Understanding hearts is difficult. More so the emotions within. I simply realize that it's easy to dismiss what you don't comprehend. All right, all right. The world needs you. I'll grant you that one. I don't know what I can do, but I will act. What comes next is too important. I suppose letting false light dictate the future might be a pretty lousy move. So, you can make a change. You have that power. What do you want for the world? Power, eh? Who knows? My training's coming to an end, and the exam's not far off. Maybe I can gain some clarity then. You're letting the exam decide? Listen to me. The results don't matter. You believe the world needs you. Sounds like you already know where you're headed. It's funny. Somehow, I can sense where I'm supposed to go. And what I'm supposed to do. Yes. Even this coat. There's something familiar about it. As if I'm meant to wear this. <laughs> hmm. No. You'll ditch it soon. What do you mean? I mean that one day you're going to outgrow it. How so? If you truly possess great power, the darkness can't control you. You won't need a silly old coat to stay safe. In fact, you'll be the one controlling the darkness instead. Me, on the other hand, I'm too much of a scaredy cat to ever take mine off. <laughs> Who are you really? Some kind of fortune teller? Well, I could lie and tell you that's what I am when I'm actually a brilliant artist or even a scholar. I could tell you that I dream of world peace more. <laughs> when I'm actually planning for its destruction. The truth is what you see with your eyes, not what you hear. So, your name? What did I just... Never mind. I guess there's no harm. My name is... Jeff. My name Jeff. Oh, God. Very obvious hide. I'm a lost Yeah. Master. Really can't tell us. <laughs> lost... Master? That's in, our only hint we have to go off of. In before us, actually, Demix! <laughs> it's Sora. No, I'm kidding. Your heart be your God. There are so many fairies about this. Well, that, that's why he's one of the most interesting characters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 75 years later! Yep. But so funny, old man. Mind sharing with us? I stand here today because of a fated encounter. I think they changed his voice in Remind. Yeah, it's uh, Christopher Lloyd, I think. Man. Better. Yeah. Who he was, and perhaps I never will. But I see now the truth he spoke of. <sighs> we don't have time for bedtime stories. Yeah, whoever it is, he sounds much better. Still down at yeah. Vessel. Obvi obviously, 12, it's not gonna beat um uh right better than Nimoy, but yeah, yeah, you, you can't beat that. Absolutely sure the others made their way back to their respective times. Come, Kingdom Hoods. Hmm. 
Bye. <laughs> Back to my favorite place, the pole. <laughs> it's even bigger than before. I... But now I don't need Terra's help to get down. <laughs> Marluxia and Larxene are both here in this time, attempting to locate the new Seven Hearts. Luxerd is also somewhere about in this age. I hate the way I say that. <laughs> He went in search of something, per your order. Isn't that so? Huh. Oh, that. Right. Well, let's just say that what he's doing will benefit us in the long run. But it's really of no importance right this second. Go on. Playing your cards close, as usual. Hmm. All right. The hearts of Ansem, Zemnus, Venitas, Riku Replica, and young Xehanort returned to where they came from and reassembled once more. Each of them is seeking a guardian of light. So, the ones who turn human and then back again into nobodies are me, you, Luxord, Marluxia, and Larxene, that's five. The ones from the past transferred into replicas are Ansem, Zemnus, Vanitas, Riku Replica, and the old man's younger self. Then we add the old man in. The total comes up to... 11. I think we're still missing two. Now we must discuss why we have assembled here today. My incarnations from past times, vessels into which I transferred my heart, my essence, were destroyed. Thus I was restored to what you see now. For one to completely disappear, their heart and body must be restored to their original form. That is one reason why I distributed my heart into several vessels. Ansem and Zemnis originated from Terra, or rather his young form, and it too was restored. However, my heart has returned to me, while his is yet lost. I decided to fill this hollow vessel oh, with my Oh, uh, while heart. this is going on, I learned something. Uh, Chris, it, first of all, it's Christopher Lloyd. Yeah. Previously and he was Doc Brown from Terra. Back to the Future. Oh, nice. So that makes 12. Apparently, his Kingdom Hearts 3 base yeah. voice also Who passed away. The kid? Uh. 20 replicas they don't just can't keep a voice. Bexen. Yeah, right. The first 12 were nothing more than puppets, barely human. The prototype model was the Riku replica, and then number I was made. That leaves us with six. Ansem, Zemnus, <laughs> we just discussed Anitas, the backup plan. Riku replica, yeah. and young Xehanort's hearts. Five vessels, one left. Vexen and Demix are candidates, but backups at best. The plan for the last replica is to give it a heart that is connected to Sora's. Connected to Sora? Anyone in mind? The second prototype that was created, number I. Though erased from memory, it remained in Vexen's records. Its existence is greatly linked to Sora's memories, and thus should prove to be more than adequate for our needs. You really need a Keyblade, huh? <laughs> yeah. I, an imaginary number. How fitting. While young Xehanort is occupied with transferring hearts, I must go fulfill my duty. I will go and retrieve Vexen. Reliable as always. It sounds to me like you've got everything dependably under control. Well, I'm off to do my part. The plan, as we agreed upon. May your 
heart be your guiding key. How many times are we going to hear that? <laughs> yeah, they've been obsessed saying that line. Like, since we can add Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. I know what they're doing. It's the um, May the Force Be With You or Kingdom Hearts now. <laughs> huh? This is. Now nah, we're with Sora now. Yeah, now it's, uh. Yeah. Welcome back, Chiffy. Yeah. Back so soon? What's Did wrong? you die again? <laughs> well, it's like going back to the underwear and a uh, and a um, Super Mario. Yeah. <sighs> Even with the power of waking, you can't just bring someone back. But Kyrie's heart hasn't been lost yet. She's still with us, right? Maybe, but this time, I'm afraid the situation is a lot worse. Hey, I've already restored six hearts. What's one more? But that's not how it's supposed to work at all. Why? <laughs> yeah. The power of waking is meant to be used to wake and restore sleeping hearts. Not to restore them after they've completely faded away from existence. Yeah, everyone You've done that six times before, and as a result, you've managed to greatly alter the course of history itself. You've broken a nature taboo. Nature... A forbidden act. Break a taboo of nature, and you'll end up paying an extraordinary price. Oh. I've heard that before. So, what's the price? You'll lose Five dollars. You won't be able to use the power of waking. That's all? No problem. <laughs> but that's not all. You yourself will vanish from this world. And without your powers, you can't return to the world you came from. I don't care. What? There's a lot I don't understand. But I know that this is all I can do right now. I have to do everything I can to get Kyrie back. That's the whole reason behind my journey. <sighs> I can't stop you, can I? <sighs> nope. I have to follow my heart. <sighs> well, then this really is goodbye. So listen carefully to me. Hmm. You'll I swear my inner worth the world. <laughs> but is it having issues? To it this well, time. well, it's just like cutting out. It's like reconnecting me, but it's possibly cutting out my own like audio. Hmm. I can hear everything, but you can't. But you can't hear anything from me. Oh, interesting. It's... Okay, so um. Oh, you get equipped now. <laughs> yeah, just sort this it stuff out. I think we want to go. Do we want to go overboard? Um, as you know, I'll change Oathkeeper with Oblivion because I haven't had a chance to use that much. Um, that's a good happy gear, good. I guess. I don't know. We're nice. definitely keeping Ultima. <laughs> yeah. Wait, did we check our items? Um, well, that, that'll be set to the normal stuff, so. Alright. Meanwhile, redo! Now. Yeah. It already existed during that time. It went back into that past earlier. Nothing can change that fact. The place where you'll return is the tear in the fabric of time that was created when you changed your destiny, then changed it once Sarah, again. In order to not stray too far from the true power of waking, Tara, you'll enter and pass through the hearts Sarah, of the Guardians until you reach Kyrie's heart. Every emotion that each of the Guardians felt, sadness, 
I like, you, I like how you can s still hear the uh, other cutscene. Kindness. Now let our friends go. Everything they saw, and everything that they felt then, you'll clear a way through it, traverse across their hearts, and dive ever deeper inside. Basically, you're feeling their hurt. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm saying hurt for a reason, because... <laughs> It's just funny for me to say her because of the code. Yeah, right. You'll come to discover a greater truth. Rah, rah, rah. Torn heart from body. No doubt. But in this flow of time in the past, you'll only have. You're gonna sound effects that can't cut out. Yeah. So you'll have to find and restore Kyrie's heart before then. That's all the advice Thankfully, I can uh, there's no actual time limit in game, so it doesn't mean anything. Hello there! Yep. Be your guiding key. Oh, no. <laughs> when you walk away. <laughs> this is Ven's heart. Are you darkness? Vanitas? All right, here we go. Get into gameplay finally. Yeah, so remember the uh, boss we just fought not too long ago. Greetings! This is much easier. I am technically not, not Dark Inferno. Yeah, this is much easier than that fight, so don't worry too much. So. Dark Inferno key. It pretty much, he pretty much works the same way though, so. Uh, if you've done. I think he hurts less, I guess. He hurts less and he has way less health. So, uh, if you do did do that fight, then no. you have a much. Uh, you have you basically have a head start on this guy because uh, he's not really much to write home about. Yeah. So, do I not have a uh, the uh, finisher what? on? I don't know. Maybe because it was based off our last save. I don't remember. Mm. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted to use. But look, look how much health he has now. Off like, off we don't have for face apparently. Yeah, he doesn't have another phase, so he's kind of a joke. <laughs> there's also going to be another repeating boss. Uh, get used to that in a remind, because there's a lot of repeating bosses here. We're going to be doing, yeah, <laughs> just to remind you. Uh... Yeah, there are some cool ad additions though, which we'll get to. Yeah, uh, they're they're not they're not complete. They're not one hundred percent reused. Mm, yeah. Just ninety five percent. Clunk. Yeah. Axel. No, Sora. This feels really weird without the music. Yeah, right. Oh god, here we go again. <laughs> no. Donald, no! <laughs> no. <laughs> go imagine I'm if pretty like... sure I'm pretty sure he's flat out dead. Terranaut, yeah. He 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 I'm pretty sure he'd be dead after that. <laughs> 
But that's also a bad thing because Terra can't go back to his body now, so. <laughs> yeah, right. Huh? Can you imagine if, like, Square Enix just saw all the then... Donald do something memes and just, like, Let's just give him no, this, this moment. Totally, totally it. This is totally like a thing just to give just to give him some power. It ain't like a moment. Yeah, right. Is this nice nice of his ZDS art, by the way. Oh yeah. Ven's heart was so peaceful. But this this is fear. Yeah, she still hasn't recovered. Nah, you know everyone's this pain. Real. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Oh. Pull it together, Sora. We haven't lost them. They still have their hearts. But we have to protect them. Right. <laughs> we stand together. Hmm. <laughs> Mickey, Kyrie, Goofy, watch the others. Goofy. <laughs> We should all get to safety while we still can. It's too late for that. Other shadows are like we. Yeah. It can't be. No. No. <laughs> this is the fear and despair that Aqua feels. And now, I feel it too. Again. Yep, pretty much. This really shouldn't be too much of an issue either. Yeah, any fight with Sora uh, probably won't be that difficult. Because <laughs> like we didn't we... fight any again. Yeah, because we are level 99, so uh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that damage. Hey, now we can do the, the end game abilities. Yeah. And it was already pretty easy, so you know. Like, I'm barely doing taking any damage. Critical mode. Yeah. Three. Stop. Damn it. And you're done. And it matters. Yeah. If anything, this is just building up our stats. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, we're gonna need that, so... And then everyone dies again. In the hearts again, are we? Yep. Uh, 
Oh, oh yeah, full disclosure, um, I actually don't own Remind because I can't pay that money for this. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> that, what I know, it, for, that my first experience was your stream. Right. So, uh... I'm assuming you've seen, like, all this stuff before. Yeah, we're, we're we're gonna get a few new things, but like, uh... yeah, there's some really cool things, but yeah. Tara, we found you. Tara, please say you're in there. What gives, Aqua? I know that you're not him. Now let our friend go. Do it again. <laughs> Did I? Did I pass through the tear? Oh. Sora? Hi, Naminé. Naminé? What are you doing here? Have you lost What are you doing here? Like <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a long story. But tell me, why haven't you returned to Kyrie's heart yet? Well, you see, Tara dyed his hair. <laughs> he is their 13th. Today is the day you all lose. What? Before you even what? face the 13, <laughs> every last one of you will be torn heart from body. But fear not. The Keyblade will still be forged. Because I'm still not able to. But I'm calling out to Terra's heart, and I brought him here. Terra? No. Terra's heart is too steeped in darkness. Instead, I've brought out Terra's most personal and powerful thoughts. This is Terra's sadness, anger. I can at least get lingering well in here. Yeah. Terra's thoughts. Yeah, uh, we fought fought it in two. We're not gonna lose to you. <laughs> Although the uh, whether or not that fight is actually canon is up to up to debate. Love it. <laughs> Who are you? Got you, Xehanort. <laughs> Quack. Terra? This is impossible. How I've waited for this moment. Charge that shot lock. <laughs> Ter Terminal get has a thing for getting blasted by like massive lasers in this game. Yeah, right. So now we actually get a continuation of this fight. Also, if you keep hearing those sounds in the background, freaking dogs. Oh. I feel like I'm looking at the start of Mega Man 8. <laughs> yeah! Wretched spirit. 
as long as Master Xehanort resides within you. You're a threat to Aqua and Ven. Hmm. How noble. You would give your life for theirs? You must be removed from existence. At all costs. Can you call out to Terra? No, his rage is too strong. He won't respond to me. No matter who gets hurt, it's bad for Terra. Either way, you have to leave. Go to the world of ocean and sky. And you? I got this. <laughs> now there's three terrors. <laughs> when you think about it. Yeah, pretty much. Be gone. That's an actual movie did in BBS, I believe. Ultima Slash, let's go! Yeah, boy! That was kind of badass of Ultima! <laughs> yeah. Hey, I can travel to different times too, you know. Did you think you were the only one with that power? You dare. Wow, this one really actually looks way badass in the cutscene. Yeah. It's like proper gear and everything. Yeah. You're doing a terror for one cycle. <laughs> oh. Yep. Terra! Oh. So that's what happened to the uh, lingering Seeing well. that you have also taken the forbidden path, you too must be ready to make the ultimate sacrifice. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now a solo play with Terranort. Yeah, so I'm not sure how much this fight is different from the the um, regular fight in the graveyard, but um, yeah. The, well, the guardian seems to be a bit more active. Yeah. So we'll see how this goes. I'm not too worried though. And while we're sore, there's really not much to worry about. Yeah, it's just basically a formality at this point. Just get through. We'll get to the actual fun stuff soon enough. I do recognize a lot of the a lot of these moves from the day of fight, so I am familiar with uh, a lot of this. Yeah, he's not doing his DM. <laughs> yeah. Th yeah, this is basically just a um. Uh, size down version of like his day of fight. The practice version. Yeah. <laughs> More MP. Yay. Honestly, that's really good. <laughs> yeah. Grabbed a lot. <laughs> Darkness awaits you. I do can. <laughs> I think we're back to, um, 
<laughs> the Avasaur, basically. Yeah. So yeah, this this gets kind of weird. Meanwhile. Yeah, the there is te there are technically two sores okay, around right now. Um, do you want to save? Yeah, that was a transition. Do you want to save her? I, I don't know. Yeah, let's save one down. Yeah. Cause this one'll give me more to DLC. Yeah. So it's kind of annoying that there's only nine saves because then you don't really have much room. So we got, I've got the so choice between these again. Why don't we go in the backwards order we did this time? Uh, most of the order we did. We did Mickey first last time. Okay. So we'll do Riku first. Right. Also, uh, the reason why I'm making this go for that run is because apparently all this happened in that time. Yeah. 